This is the Hoop GP, and today we're looking at a very special guest. Cow812, Gracie, is back on the channel. Y'all keep asking for it. That is Gracie. Let's see how she's doing now. Go on, on you go. So for those of you who don't know, this cow has become a bit of a mascot for the channel. She's had a real story of ups and downs, of lows and real elevations. Here's a little more about why she's so special to us. How are you doing, love? So for those of you who don't know, this is Gracie, cow 812, and she was incredibly lame. And I took her on as a bit of a pet project to show you guys exactly why cows like Gracie go lame and what farmers do about it. She became really, really ill, and because she was ill, she lost a lot of condition. And because she lost a lot of condition, that meant she lost a lot of the fat in her foot. So in other words, the insole within her foot got thinner and thinner, and she became really lame because of it. But we're gonna see exactly how Gracie's feet are right now. She's walking well, but she's still got blocks on. It is months and months since I last saw her. Isn't it, love? A lot of the time people ask me if cows remember what we do for them, and maybe Gracie does. She certainly never used to be that quiet. So originally, both of Gracie's back feet were horrendous. She was very, very lean. And by the way, Gracie's a really old cow. She's not a heifer. She's not in the youth. She's not got this, any sprite in her step because she is old, especially for a dairy cow. So this is clearly her back left foot now. If we flip back to how it was when we originally saw her, I think you'll notice a slight difference. So although Gracie's feet are looking much better than they were, because she has been lame in the past, she now has a predisposition to go much more lame, much more easily than another cow. And that's because when a cow is lame and bleeding from the foot or something like that, she pumps more blood to that foot to try to fix the problem herself. And in doing so, it creates calcification of the bone. So the bone inside itself is actually now all spiky and has projections that are sticking down into a corium and causing a little bit of discomfort, which can eventually lead to lameness. But right now, she's looking pretty well. This is inconsequential right now. She's walking well on it, so we're not gonna dig and prod at it too much. We're just gonna lower it very slightly, just to take a little bit of the weight off there and transfer it onto this claw here. But that is Gracie's foot done for now. Maybe just remove that bit a little bit, actually. Beautiful. This next foot was much worse and she's still got her blocks on. So originally she had a huge big cut right up the outside of her foot and all of this part of her foot had serious problems. This was one very bad foot. Seems pretty sound so far. We'll clean it up a little bit for your guys' benefit and then we'll clean it up for her benefit. Gracie's journey so far really has been full of ups and downs and I know I've just said that this foot is looking really sound, but I've thought that before and been wrong. I'm not too worried about the sole of the foot, but as we move on to the wall horn, this is where it could all fall apart. That is a massive improvement. <laughs> Isn't it? So all these little lines and everything, that's not cracking, it's just staining within the horn. 
And the only reason I would really take it off is to prove that it's only staining in the horn and that wouldn't do Gracie any good. If you look closely, you'll see that that is just staining it. It's all really good hair horn now. For me, this is genuine excitement, genuine pleasure and genuine pride that we've managed to bring Gracie through the worst of it and bring her out the other side. This isn't just about curing this one cow and making her feel more comfortable, it's about proving what can be done if the right amount of time and effort is put in to any one specific cow. This has been the ultimate learning experience for both me and hopefully for some of you. I couldn't be any happier than I am for her. And because she's in, we're just gonna trim all four feet just to make sure that nothing is going wrong with her front as well. Quick little tidy up and that's enough. Is there a more satisfying job in the world than healing a cow like this? Probably, but I don't know what it is. And that is crazy all done. You were good, you were good, yeah, you did good, you did good. This isn't just down to me and Gracie though, you know. This is down to the farmer making sure that he does everything he can to make sure that Gracie, or Tally one too, gets back to full health. Mission complete. Come on, lass, come on. Good girl, that's a girl. On you go, on you go. If you guys have any doubt in your mind whatsoever that these farmers aren't doing everything they can for their cows, then worry not, because I assure you, they really, really are. Thanks for watching guys. As always, make sure you subscribe and if you haven't already done it, give this video a big thumbs up for me and for Gracie and for the farmer for sorting Gracie out. Cheers guys, goodbye.